Hi there, I'm Melanie Carr, life coach, and this podcast is about human sexuality and the evolution process of our intimate, erotic, creative sexual energy and how we can use it to create our life mission and our purpose for being here on this planet. So today I want to talk about simultaneous orgasm. It's such an interesting topic and obviously kind of exciting too because I don't think there's anything that gets people more sort of wowed in their sexual experience as when two people come at the same time. And I've been kind of asking and meditating about this, trying to download a little more information and came up with some things. I was trying to even describe and understand it. Uh, How was I going to talk about this? And one thing I did want to share that was quite interesting was um, I just watched a program on Netflix about pleasure, which is quite interesting. Um, You can check it out. It has some information in it that's quite good. But one of the things they were talking about was the the things that do turn you on and the things that turn you off, right? And the difficulty people have to focus their mind and not be watching themselves instead of being in the moment and being present and being really focused and concentrated um, energetically with the person they're with. Um, having that compassionate empathy, the loving kindness, putting all these these elements together. And one of the things I realized that I was often doing was every time the, well, I'm a heterosexual woman, so every time the man um, would penetrate my body, I would visualize the energy or his masculine energy going up my um, spinal column up through the chakra system. So every time I would imagine like a little bit more energy, a little more energy going up higher and higher and higher. And a lot of times just really focusing on um, my partner's energy um, would be what would help to create this ability to have this this orgasm in the moment and then uh, be so connected that Either he would start to have an orgasm and it would make me come or I would start to have an orgasm and it would make him come. And we both kind of learned to not like give up on the other one and sort of wait for that moment to happen. Um, Because a lot of times it's when you actually feel the orgasm of the other person that you all of a sudden feel like you're going to be able to also have an orgasm in that moment. So Uh, If the man's able to keep going, even though he's having his orgasm or has had his orgasm and he's able to just keep going, even if it's just kind of like his body on your body and not maybe uh, such a a whole erect situation happening there, but doesn't matter because it's energy. And sometimes I think as a woman, you just need the guy to just keep going for another 10, 20, 30 seconds and that would be enough if you have just felt his energy and his orgasm. And I think a lot of guys come and they just stop and that's it. And I think if they were able to sort of come and just keep going with the movement a little longer, the women would probably quite often have their orgasm at the same time. So this is not so much um, the more like sexology um, and the podcast here, but it was such an interesting tip that I came across that I thought, I would share it even though it's not so much about um, the evolution of the spirituality of the sexuality. Um, I just kind of wanted to throw that in because I am coming up with some very interesting information about um, human sexuality, not just about the evolution of of sex (laughs) and the sexual energy and uh, the spiritual side of things. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to throw that in there because it's quite interesting And I think it's the same for guys as well. I mean, it's easier, obviously, if a woman has an orgasm, a guy just keeps going, right? So it's not such a problem there. Um, But I think a lot of times that's just, a lot of times people are very close and they just need that like moment longer. But often if you're really focused with the energy of the other person, 
and you're sending the energy up through your spinal column to your heart center out into the universe and you're focusing on the energy of the other person you can be deeply deeply focused on the energy of the other person and then all of a sudden you're not so much into the technical physical aspect of these these um, emotional triggers that we have or the things that turn you on or the things that turn you off um, because sometimes it's the like they said in the Netflix um, series they said it's the grit in the bed sometimes that's disturbing you you can feel it on your skin <laughs> and then the lady says well just change your sheets and then you have that problem solved right but I think we're talking about a deeper level of intimate focus where the grit on the sheets in the bed you wouldn't even notice it because you're so focused and so turned on and so sharing your energy and receiving the other person's energy that you didn't notice the grit in the bed, right? <laughs> so that's where we're talking about more like deep erotic connections and deep erotic focus um, to help people get to a place where they can overcome those issues of disconnection or the issues of having other stuff distract you in your mind or feel even like you're watching yourself as you're having sex, you're watching yourself instead of being really present. You're like almost observing, <laughs> your mind is observing, but you're not really fully participating in the moment. And a lot of times, like she said, that's what ends up happening with um, trauma. And a lot of people, almost everyone has had some kind of trauma. And sometimes it's just a more simple thing. It can just be about loving yourself and your body image. Or it can be a more uh, serious trauma of of sexual abuse or it can just be even sexual harassment or bullying or just insecurity and things that come up in your mind that make it difficult in order for you to really focus. But that image to me was very powerful of every penetration being an energy going up the spinal column from that person, just receiving that energy from that person and then breathing in and breathing it up your body and then seeing it visualizing it going up to your heart center and sometimes it goes like right out your head into the universe or just goes to the heart center and then just goes out through the whole body and usually once the energy is accumulated enough that energetically can create the orgasm that um, some people are looking for um, who are having a harder time having an orgasm well obviously I'm talking more towards women but it can be guys too, um, just because they're not able to focus and overcome those those kind of thoughts that come in, like, what about this, or I like this, or I don't like that. Like, forget about what you like or you don't like. Just focus your mind and deeply on connecting with the other person energetically. And then if you're both, um, if you've had a little time together and you're really connected, um, you can start having these experiences where you're both having a simultaneous orgasm or very close, like within a few seconds or within like 30 seconds of the other person. Then you're creating um, that connection of the masculine and feminine energy joining and it can be girl, girl, guy, guy. It's not a heterosexual thing. It's just um, still masculine and feminine energy. And the connection and the balance between the two and the energetic benefit that can blow through your chakra system out and connect you to the universe. Um, heal um, pain, emotional pain and trauma. Um, create a, an incredible kind of like a auric field around the two people of protection, of loving kindness. And then using that energy after as you're resting and you're enjoying the energy you've created together to visualize the things that you want to create um, that are part of the life mission and what you came here to do. And this, this simultaneous orgasmic mm, moment can be extremely creative because it would be a little bit like in a physical energy, the sperm meets the egg kind of thing and creates a baby. Well, if it's just, um, you know, my heart center and your heart center with masculine and feminine energy and balance, then, then you can create 
um, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in your life um, together or one person or the other can visualize their own more individual goals or if they have goals as a couple together. And it could just be something simply as we really need a car in order to be able to get around and organize things in our in our business or our lives and that would be a you know a, a logical healthy thing to ask or visualize and then try doing your 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 visualization of what you what you need in order to accomplish what you came here in your life to do or to create and i think that this is one of the reasons that people can become way more motivated to get on their life path and do what they came here to do whatever that is whatever the universe put you here to do, is that when you do start focusing your creative, intimate energy on that purpose um, in these moments, either by yourself, by joining your own masculine and feminine energy, um, or if you're with a partner and you're able to create that connection and have a simultaneous orgasm, and or even have an orgasm each person, or work on creating the energy and not having an orgasm, but breathing and using the energy in order to create higher levels of, of intimacy and higher levels of um, energetic vibrations. Because there's the physical orgasmic um, energetic connection, and then there's the energetic orgasmic uh, energetic connection. That can also happen where you don't actually have a physical orgasm, you have an energetic orgasm in the heart center. And that can be even more creative or more intense depending on uh, your your levels of energy and the amount of times, like if you've, they say in the Chinese philosophy, for example, a man who's 20 years old uh, should have like um, no more than four orgas- physical orgasms in a week. So uh, someone who's 30 or 40 was, might only be having um, two or three, and someone who's 50 or 60 might only be having one uh, once in a while. Um, then in the 70s and 80s, probably is not even, um, you know, as frequently might just be every few months that someone would decide that they, their body needed that, that release at that age, physically. So it's not about totally I'm going to not uh, have any more uh, physical orgasmic um, sex. It's about taking um, a little bit of inventory in your intuition and how is your life force energy, how is your energy, your physical health, and then using your intuition to decide. Um, because there are people who are 50 and 60 years old who their bodies are healthy like a 30 or 40-year-old. So it's not just a number um, I think it's also kind of uh, using your intuition to know if you've, if you've been too active in a physical way, then make love two or three, four times and don't have a physical orgasm and just work towards joining your energy and creating that. And then your level of erotic um, focus and energy will be so much higher when you do Uh, work towards having a physical orgasm at the same time, it will be a lot easier. And then from there, there's a lot of other exercises and practices that can um, create healing and a lot of different things that in the Tao and the Chinese philosophy, it's amazing. They talk about the smiling heart and they talk about the liver and the kidneys and all the different positions and all the different ways that you can work towards healing um, in your relationship, even physical health problems. So they have a lot of information about that. And I think it's really something to consider in our Western culture. Um, a lot of people have never even heard about, um, an energetic orgasm and using your intuition to decide whether you want to have just a physical, um, sex with a physical orgasm and then just kind of like dump it off all the time out into the, into the universe uh, without such a, um, like a purpose for the energy to create something. Or if you want to start having a little bit more conscious, um, a little bit more intimate, a little bit more creative 
towards your life purpose and start just working on the idea of using your energy for what you want to create and you can find that things come in your life so much easier <laughs> they come so much easier <laughs> and that too <laughs> you can have orgasms easier as well <laughs> so yeah i haven't talked a lot about actual uh sexual techniques and things but um if something interesting comes up that's not just stuff you can find in any any book about great sex um i'll share a few things uh, and ideas, because sometimes I think it's important, um, especially for women, because we're more in our head and we're more, um, our eroticism is so much more like um, auditory and feeling. And I think men are more physical and visual. So for women having different ideas in their mind that they could focus on or ideas or visualizations in their mind and feelings that they can imagine can really help them focus. And I found that that's one of the things that's been able to help me focus more. Um, Even the thought of the the penetration of the vital energy of the other person, the life force energy of the other person going up the the spinal column. And then at some point, uh, it gets through the emotional body, it gets to the heart center. There could be something happening with the woman... um, on her chest or her nipples, the the Chinese people talk a lot about how the the nipples are connected with um, the uterus and also the the other glands in the body. So if there's some kind of stimulation with the nipples and then some kind of kissing, it's almost like, okay, so you're moving the energy up your body. Um, There can be also some kind of physical moving the energy up your body. Um, First feeling in your solar plexus and then doing something like on your nipples to create, bring the energy more up to the heart center and then then focusing on kissing and bringing the energy up and then even almost like putting your hands together over over the 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 head your head of both people right um just to sort of like physically imagine the energy going up through the body and sometimes this will create that or simultaneous orgasmic a connection between two people just literally because of the energy, the focus on the energy, the visualization of the energy moving up through the body until it makes a connection with the other person. And when that energetic connection happens, sometimes it will just be an energetic orgasm, which kind of feels more like an orgasm in your heart center between both people. And the other one also is like looking in the other person's eyes because that can also bring the energy right up through the body. So these are just some ideas I had. Um, And I was kind of meditating on this idea a little bit as to why that experience of a simultaneous orgasm is so powerful and what it creates in the body and the incredible uh, creative power of that between two people. And I think that might give you some ideas to play around with. It certainly gets my mojo happening. <laughs> it's very interesting for me, all of these things. But I also see it now more as a spiritual idea and a way of um, being more creative with my energy. And obviously the most incredible, beautiful experience of having um, an orgasm at the same time as a person that you that you love and you're creating this energy with um, is is yeah that's definitely gonna blow your mind so give it a try don't try to force or pressure it because that just makes it um, more difficult but if you just sort of let it flow and then it happens then that's great um, <laughs> have a great day that should leave you something to think about Okay, have a great day. (laughs) Take care. Have a great day.